hey guys um, this is Joe here um, today I'm going to show you how to create a C panel for each domain name let's say you have a multiple domain names and you, know, you want a C panel for each of them you don't want to go use a one portal for all of them you can create a, an admin name and a password for each of them so i'm going to be very simple and i'm going to show you step by step okay i have a i page so first i don't know what server you're using but go to your server and uh, once you are in your on your server go you see here down here you have a server styles mine is uh, active and now uh, you want to generate uh, the root password you click on uh, generate root password Okay, I have my root or password here. I'm going to just copy. You can double click on it. If you double click, it's going to select exactly what you want. And uh, Control C, Control C to copy. And uh, when this is copied, And when this is copied, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, Launch C Panel. Click on uh, Launch your C Panel, and uh, it's going to take me to the C Panel. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to look up here, Address Bar. This is a portal, and uh, the, in the portal instead of uh, the port number twenty eighty three. I'm going to use a 2087 and I'll enter and it's going to take me to WHM and WHM uh, username is a root root and of the password is going to be the password uh, I just uh, generated <coughs> and uh, now I go I'm going to log in. Okay, now once I am here, I want to create. I'm going to type in on the search, create, and uh, this is going to. <coughs> this is the filter. So you see down here, you see create a new account. We cannot create a new account. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is a, the account information. So I have a down here, your domain name, you type in your domain name, nothing else than your domain name. So if you see up here, it is create a new account, create a new account. So domain name here, domain name, and <coughs> This is something I already have done it. It is already done, so I'm just going step by step to show you how I did it. And a username, username here. You want to type in your username, username. Okay, use the same username. And uh, you want to create a password. See here, password. Type in here, password anything you want you can type in uh, your password here and uh, you want to repeat a uh, retype of password and uh, you to type in again a password and uh, no down i have to go down 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 to see email i want to email And of a package, the package, what package I'm using? I'm using iPage. So I'm going to choose down here iPage. Come on. Okay, iPage. And uh, if the rest is good, the rest is good. You don't have setting, you know. You don't, the rest is good. 
Everything's good, everything looks good. And now I'm going to create create. <coughs> this is already created, so it's going to give me an error because it is already created. It exists. Okay. Now when you're done here, when you're done here, you want to go on your search again. In search instead of a create type in list. And this is going to bring us a list of accounts so this is what you want all right this account this is what you want and you're going to you're going to click on our list account okay go and click on our list account and you see here list account and on the list account if you go down you scroll down you're going to see this is a my new account so now if i want to go to my cpanel depend if you click on this one down here is going to take you to this website on uh, uh, this uh, cpanel the website of this cpanel you click on the top one is going to take you to the other one so i want to show you click on this instead of login is going to log me in so this is how it works i have my c panel for each account thank you for watching bye